Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I want to say salutations to you, Akim, that's out there pushing this truth with sincerity. Uh, today, I'm just going to be answering a question uh, that was left on one of my videos on the comment board. And it's going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, shout out to the brother Ratazwanya Benji, who helped me... Uh, Put together a couple uh, precepts just for this lesson. I forgot about some of these scriptures, to be quite honestly. Uh, sometimes that happens, even though you know the, the answer. Sometimes you forget all the precepts that uh, fully explain the answer. But uh, the video was, uh, having a two-thirds mindset will be torture in these end days. All right? The video I did a little bit ago, uh, the account or a person asked a question came from a, a person, uh, C-Shock, and it says, do you think the two-thirds we met in this pers in person in this current evil kingdom that refuse to believe the truth we tell them will remember their past lives after being reborn into the new kingdom when uh, Yahweh Shai rules, right? So short answer to this question uh, will be yes, all right? It will be yes. And the first scripture I'm going to get uh, to go more into it uh, is in the book of uh, Daniel, all right? The book of Daniel, because uh, uh, it, for the ones out there in the spirit that knows, uh, we are all, uh, the spirits in us it gets recycled from generation to generation. Reincarnation is a part of the scriptures. And up until now, uh, we have been, uh, we're not allowed really to go into our past lives, even though we're, we've, we've been here before. All right. It's written, uh, that's written, uh, throughout the entire, uh, scriptures. The one scripture that comes to mind, uh, is when the Messiah, Yahweh Shai told, uh, his disciples, there'll be some standing before me that shall not taste death until, uh, the kingdom comes in. So he, he said it 2000 plus years back then to those disciples but what did he really mean by that in this current time in these last days there's going to be a certain man uh that goes from this current life into the kingdom without tasting death all right so that's that's reincarnation in a nutshell right there all right those same spirits that stood uh, firm with the messiah in that day are going to receive that prize and glory in this time so uh, going back to the person's question, dealing with the two thirds, uh, you know, will they remember the ones that re rejected this, these scriptures? Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to remember. Yeah, because uh, it's going to be a uh, structure, which Jake hates structure, man. No, everybody, every Israelite is not going to be equal. No, every Israelite is not going to be on the same playing, playing field. Yes, we're going to be greater than all other kingdoms and greater than all other peoples, uh, thus saith the Bible. But uh, within the nation of Israel, uh, you you will have structure, all right? You know, of course, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, King David, all the way at the top. And then teachers, apostles, disciples, so on and so forth underneath, right, prophets? So it's going to be structure. All the believers, then the two-thirds, they got to come back. Uh, through the one-thirds, right? When they come back, it's going to be a certain glow on us. It's going to be a certain envy uh, for us, all right? You know, it's going to be a certain admiration, which is even a better better word for that elect, for that elect. But this is Daniel 1, uh, not just like it, Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And that's where we're at now, man. We're, we're at the end of this thing. And that and great tribulation, Jacob's trouble, is uh, <laughs> is coming on home, man. All right? We're, we're about to experience that. And, 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 and at, that, at that time, uh, thy people shall be delivered. Right? Every one of, of, of that shall be found written in the book, which is going into the elect. Right? 144,000 and one third. Verse 2. And many of them that, that sleep in the dust of the earth shall await some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now, this is not dealing with hell or none of that. 
meaning uh, the ones awakened to everlasting life are the ones that's going to receive salvation and know what time and what's going on and understanding who and what the chosen people are. All right, you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And not just that in a general term, but the ones that have fully repented, the ones that came back to Yahweh while Yahweh shy, and the ones that are doing the work uh, and putting putting uh, putting their hands to work in this ministry and in this gospel and in this uh, in this church. Uh, but the others, some to shame and everlasting contempt, meaning when they pass and die on this side and get their judgments on this side, when they come back. Even when that spirit comes back in a new body, even when that spirit gets regenerated into the kingdom of heaven, and they're still going to be Israelites, the mighty, mightiest people on earth, they're going to have, they're still going to realize uh, that man, the, the the elect, the one third, those are those men, those are those guys, and I had a, a chance, you know, I might have, and I heard that, and I didn't do what I needed to do. That's going to still sit there in their minds. All right. Let's get another scripture. Let's go to the book of. Uh, and this is not going to be long. Let's go to the book of Matthew. Chapter five. Right. Matthew, chapter five and uh, 19. It says, uh, for whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach man so. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, meaning that there's a separation going on right now, man. You got the uh, the hopeful elect, the ones that are in the know, the ones that are out here sincerely trying to feed uh, the sheep, teaching uh, this doctrine, teaching these prophecies, teaching commandments. Guess what it says, but so whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. Meaning, when the kingdom is established, it's going to be a separation. Most of our people, majority, are teaching through their actions, through their words. Uh, you got the celebrities, sports figures, are teaching you to be in this world. Teaching you to, to, to chase after lust, to be sinful. And these are they that are going to be uh, uh, called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Like I said, there's going to be a separation. All right. Then going back to that uh, question from C Shock, it says, "Will they remember their past lives after being reborn in the new kingdom when Yahweh Shai rules? They're going to know that. Hey, <laughs> uh, when we were on the earth." At the, at the other times, we didn't do what we were supposed to do, man. All right, those those, those elect, uh, you know, those are going to be mighty, notable men for a reason. All right, it's going to be a difference. All right, it will be a difference, and that's what I want to uh, hammer home. Let me see what else I got. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel, the twentieth chapter, right? Let's get this right here. Ezekiel 20 and 42. It says, uh, And ye shall know that I am the Lord power when I shall bring you into the land of Israel, into the country for the which I lifted up mine hand to give it to your fathers. All right. We were already, we was always promised that land. And how about Shem, how shy was always going to put us back in that land through deliverance, not through a bow for agreement, not through our own hand or power. That's how, how you know the people in that land right now are fraudulent and false. Verse uh, 43, and there shall ye remember your ways and your doings wherein ye have been defiled, and ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. You hear that? It says, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I have wrought with you my name's sake, not according to your wicked ways, nor according to your corrupt doings, O ye house of Israel, save the Lord power. So the 43 verse is what I want to key in on. It says, and there you shall re remember your ways and all your doings, 
wherein ye have been defiled, and ye have lo and loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed. Right? So, it's going to come a point in time when we do get that land back, and the elect are going to be the first fruits, and we're going to be in there. We, we won't take part of the second death, and when we fully uh, bring back, back Israel into the kingdom, which is truly salvation, ruling, authority, all these things go along with salvation. Uh, like I said, it's going to be a separation between uh, the ones that have faith on this side, the ones that did the work on this side, the ones that uh, help the prophets and help the ministry on that side. All right. Which is going to be a remnant versus everybody else. All right. So. I hope this uh, answers uh, this person's question. All right. That uh, that quite quite simply, yes, they are gonna remember, man. All right, and know that, damn, I <laughs> I fucked up. All right, I fucked up. Okay, because believe me, man, uh, what we're going through, what we're sacrificing, uh, not going along to get along, is really gonna pay off uh, in the end. Trust and believe that. All right. Even though it's gonna, uh, uh, even though moments are gonna come uh, where things look bleak, things look dark, things look like man, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. All these things are gonna come to play because the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So uh, you know, gird up and stay in it. You know, for you, you know, your brothers and sisters out there that that, that really believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and got faith. But that's the point. Uh, hope this was edifying. I'm going to give all glory, praise, and honors to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'm going to say Shalom the next time.